Dan River. That seems far too austere a name for something made of mirth and rage. Oh, roiling red blood river vein. If chief among your traits is age, you're a wily, convoluted sage. <laughs> is old the thing to call what rings the vernal heart of Wester lore? It brings us brassy, myth-made kings. And preponderance of bug-type things. To challenge titans come before! Oh, Demiurge to a try at Avalon once more. And what august vitality in your wide aorta stream. You must have had to oversee alchemic change of timber beam to iron, brick, and engine steam. Your umber whiskey waters lends the prideful, sober sovereignty a faulty halo temperance and wilt her self-sure countenance. Yes, righteousness is vanity. <laughs> but sports for imps, not elderly. So, if there's a name for migrant mass of veteran frivolity, that snakes through seas of prairie grass and groves of summer sassafras, a name that flows as roguishly as wild waters, fast and free. It's your true name. Mississippi. Ahem. It's abundantly clear you forgot us down here. Encore? Uh, no encore? Please, it's no, fine. no, that's plenty. We're fine. Should I uh, add a, a dance? Extra stanzas? <laughs> There's more where that came from. Please don't ruin musical theater for everyone. I'm not sure lookouts are supposed to make such a ruckus anyway. Why don't you come down here and grab a shovel? Alas, Miss Pepper, I was cursed, cursed with these spaghetti arms! So, I do what I can. I provide the up. I provide the ambiance. Babyface provides the muscle. Look at him digging his way to martyrdom, the little goat getter. Now. How about a little Rhapsody in G minor for company? Fine. If you're not going to help us work, you're going to have to double as the dirt rag. Rocky? Ah. I think I found... <laughs> Is that it? Well, if it isn't, yeah. we'll have some awkward explaining to do to the family of, uh... Herman Hapfem... What was that? Did you hear something? All these unresting spirits were trespassing on their turf. But there's nothing you can do about it, ye feisty devils! I wish my mom was here. What? Blasphemy! That force of nature, she'd stop us dead. I know. Oh, Freckle. Don't tell me you aren't having a good time showing off your shoveling skills for hotsy totsy over here. Gora! Oh, for a moment there, I thought it was your mom. This is why I don't go around enough spirits. Digging up graves and sacrilege and ass. Settle down, cousin. The spirits are all bottled up. <laughs> Hundred years past, Burke and Hare were up to much worse. And things turned out just fine for them. D didn't they hang them? Details, Freckle. Details. Now show me your crowbar skills. <laughs> Ah, liquid gold! Dionysian delight! Better still, Canadian whiskey! I think we should hurry. I'll start the car. Whiskey in the jar. Leave the headlamps off. Be too careful. Right, we've been so discreet up until now. No! 
No! Don't let that get away! Miss Sam can't spare a drop! Maturation? Where's that spotlight when we need it, Miss Pepper? Now the spirits are afoot. I got it. No, I that it. is my foot. That's not what I meant. No, I can't see. Ah, there it is. Yeah, stop it. Get you get off me. Rock out. Some live ones tonight. <laughs> yeah, say ball. The chase is the best part. Let's not prolong this. This is a trifling matter. We have other business to tend to. Yeah, but none of it near as fun as this going to be. Mm, can't let the competition go unchecked. Even a little vermin, they got a way of festering. Alon! Where'd you learn to drive like that? I didn't! Didn't? Learn to drive! Well, you're so bad at it, you've confounded the enemy. Nicely done. <laughs> Now we need a performance from you, Torpedo Boy! Ah. Oh, no, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! No, no! Don't be modest! I, 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 uh... I will play us a symphony! I guess this one is the big. Come on, stay with me! firepower than I expected. But you want to take over driving back there? No. Especially now that you have alleviated us of our windshield. Oh, you don't like how we play? How about you stop spectating and throw in, Shell? Or do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's just that there's a, hot, a fire, a burning hot fire in uh, in the in, in engine compartment. <laughs> the radiator.
know the world is full of magic things. I just need a ticket to ride. Well, I'm nearly out of sleeves and ideas. The engine is still too hot. I don't even know if it's. You said there was a pistol in here somewhere? There's always one wedged in the seat. Well, I guess that's a gun. I'll drop them away. You start the car. Please. This is going to take longer if you scatter them. What happened to you that made you hate fun? <sighs> I'll take care of that. Disable the vehicle. Still on? Uh, yep. Aces. Here, Freckle. I got you a souvenir. <laughs> You're supposed to light it first. <laughs> Nico! <laughs> Brother mine, help me up. Shit, you look disappointed.
And though scrutinized and scandalized and troubled in the end by depleted finances, hmm, familiar story, Miss Duncan leaves behind, moreover, a legacy of consummate artistry and bold innovation. Done in by a scarf. The comic end that makes the tragedy, doesn't it? Speaking of tragedy, we got an old supplier back. The funeral home. Still, it's not the same without you. And that feeling that all of this was ours. <sighs> Used to be we could drive a whole convoy of trucks in. Now we're just digging for scraps. Well, however unbecoming, Atlas, that's my cue. Meet you downstairs. Miss M. Horatio. The door, sweetheart. Oh, right. How's the weather, madam? Ah, right, the difficult business of a uh, business. You could certainly be of some help. Except I'm supposed to be a pillar of the community, baron of industry, upstanding citizen, you know? <laughs> he said, bent over his illicit beverage. Oh, thank goodness, I wasn't sure you were alive. Zeb, shouldn't you be up on stage playing? For who? That guy? How about you, Wick? Shall I serenade you personally? Uh, once I've had a few more illicit beverages, perhaps. I suppose I could use one of those too. Victor? Victor, I know it's an adjustment, but the bartender's got to look like someone the patronage can tell their troubles to. More of a confidant, less of a coroner. Try smiling, honey. <sighs> we'll work on it. Bum ba da dum ba 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 ba! Hello. We made it, everyone! Hello, we made it! What about the carpet? JJ! Sorry. Well, look what the Mississippi spat up. Miss Sam, you seem, uh... Surprised. Rocky, sweetie, you are nothing if not an exhausting, incomprehensible surprise. Thank you! This was supposed to be the real McCoy. Let's see if that's the surprise. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> it'll certainly start your engine. Which is to say, <clears throat> it beats radiator fluid. What's that aftertaste? Um, crisp, full-bodied, um, reminiscent of oak wood. Coffin varnish. Mm, yeah, we can call it the uh, Sunset Rose Cocktail. Sunset Rose Cocktail? That sounds good. You have no idea what I went through to get this. I have very good an idea. Mmm, <laughs> sophisticated flavor. So, not bad then? Uh, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Better than getting shot. Still, is this all we got for our money, honey? You look like you took a bath in the red. Well, I could probably wring some more out of my coat for you. There was a minor incident. Incidences. 
The likes of what? Oh, just some spent ammo and... Desecrated graves. Fractured signage, minor flooding, lots of structural damage. Uh, we may have fomented a deadly rivalry on the way, too. But Dynamite and Heavy Machinery are marvelous problem solvers. A old sport! Dynamite? What dynamite? And the car is fine. I fixed it. Also, you'll be happy to know my violin came through unscathed. I know you did your best, honey, but we can't keep running ourselves ragged and into the red to bring Omega. What I mean is, I don't see how this... Uh... JJ. JJ. You know what? I'm glad you and your violin are back, honey. We could all use some music about now. I mean, besides JJ. All right, all right. Come on, kid. What do you say we go lighten the mood? Uh, about the dynamite mm. and machinery, can you elaborate? Mr. Sable? All uh, right. Cheers. Come on, you owe me a dance. I do? Yes, I decided. You know the Charleston? No. The Lindy Hop? No. The Roundabout? The Jingle Jangle? The Pussy Noodle? I have a head injury. I'll show you. You just gotta put one foot over there, and one over there, and then stick your foot over here, and you Connect me to Mr. Sweet, please. Rather unfortunately, we were sidetracked. The vehicle has been disabled, and on the whole, the evening has not gone according to plan. Let me see if I have this right. Ruthless, infamous hatchet man Mordecai Heller is calling me to ask for a ride. Yes. <laughs> However, Mr. Sweet, it seems... What, what am I, your it, dad? <laughs> it seems we have a more considerable problem at hand. What, someone must your hair? You got some dirt on you? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes. But more to the point, one of our suppliers appears to be double-dealing. To stragglers from lackadaisy, of all things, they're clumsy and likely to draw attention. With the feds in town... Yeah. That's a real liability. And I can only stave off so much heat from the higher-ups before this whole city starts smoldering. Oh, those dragons. Having given it some thought, 
It does appear to warrant our attention. Right then. Time to tie up some loose ends. <laughs>